That's where the girl comes in. Until we meet her, the message was a panna cotta, and the choice of that delicate dish is important. The filmmakers didn't choose something overwrought or decadent. The message is just sugar and cream. It's a simple message of protest, that something pure can survive in the whole if adults work to protect it. But then we meet the girl. At the end of the film, when the platform is being sent back to level zero, Goring realizes he can't climb on beside the child because his cannibalism and murder makes him too corrupt to ascend with her. She represents total purity, a child at the lowest level of the whole, the bottom of capitalist society, and as such, the most vulnerable person who is totally reliant on those above. It transpires that her mother is Miharu. It's not fully explained, but the suggestion is that Miharu has been traveling the length of the hole to make sure that there's food on the platform for her child. That even an employee of the administration doesn't know a child is on level 333, nor that that level even exists, is the point. Children are often invisible in conflict, famine, and policy. And Imigari's blindness to the extra 133 levels shows how privileged societies are often blithely ignorant of the world's most intense suffering. Thank you.